Hello everybody and welcome to Lucky by Nature. Beast Demon here and we are going to go over several ways to harvest silica pearls. Let's get right to it. As you may already know, you need pearls to make electronics to be able to build more advanced equipment. You also need them to build some saddles along with scuba gear and other things, but we have used an enormous amount on electronics personally. One method is harvesting leeches. Guys, this is the most ridiculously bad way to get silica pearls along with fishing. It takes forever. You may get lucky here and there, but I have spent a good amount of time on this swamp looking for leeches and I have yet to get any silica pearls at all. You are better off going to the swamp cave, but even there you will get very little amounts. So let's move on to the next method. Killing trilobites. This is almost as bad as the leeches and the fishing, but slightly better. The angler is the best to harvest pearls from trilobites and your pick is second best and of course depending on how good your pick is you may get better amounts but it's still a waste of time. Next method is a bit better, raid the beaver dams. This is good because you can get other stuff like cementing paste, rare mushrooms and flowers along with some silica pearls. But even if you get every single dam on the map, you will be lucky to come out with three to four hundred, but it is definitely better than the previous methods we have discussed. So moving on. You can go around to the snow biome along the shore and you will find a lot of clams. And that is a pretty decent way to harvest silica pearls. Uh, this is definitely a good option for beginners. Well, this one and the beaver dams. But now we will be moving on to a much more preferred way, or I, guess I should say uh, ways of collecting this important resource. One of those ways is underwater resource caves. They are great because you can collect a lot of pearls along with crystal and oil. You can put a large storage box in each of the caves and make sure they're out of the way. Every time you go in with your ichthy or dolphin, you can put the crystal and the oil in the storage box while you carry the pearls on your person or in the dolphin. Then, you know, later once you tame something that can swim, that can actually hold a decent amount of weight, you can go around to each of your storage boxes and collect your heavy crystal and oil. This is how I do it when I start a new server. But we are talking about silica pearls. So if you collect from all the caves, you will have a few thousand silica pearls per round. I would average around three to four K per run. Not bad, is it? Just a side note, some people do build little huts in the caves and they fast travel to each cave and store their pearls in their storage box. The problem with this is that since one person puts down their foundation, it does cover a pretty large area. Other people want to do the same and so they try to find a spot within the cave and before you know it, they are killing the resource spots. And in PvE, people destroy each other's huts, even metal ones, <laughs> unless you are in a friendly server. I found that it's just better to take the pearls with you because you have to collect them either way because if you store them, you have to make your rounds to go and pick them up from the storage boxes. Because you can't take them with you when you fast travel. And yeah, you can collect more by storing them in a storage box. And it works on PvE. But then other people get mad because they want to do the same. And you know, it, it can get messy. But now for the very best way to farm silica pearls. Tame yourself a high level anglerfish. They already come with decent weight, so work on their melee and watch the way this baby collects silica pearls. Within 30 minutes, I usually collect around 20k. In about 5 to 6 minutes, I've already collected about 4k pearls. So yeah, this is uh, by far the best way, guys. And if you're on the center, it's pretty much the same concept. Just go get yourself an anglerfish and go through the bottom of the ocean. 
there are a ton of clusters of clams. If you are on scorched earth, your main option is to go down the canyon, uh, you know, along where the little puddles of water are. Basically, look for the greenish uh, rocks that they look like those sand rocks. You're gonna see a lot of normal ones, but look for the greenish ones, and usually there's a cluster along with them. The greenish ones are clams, but there's also clams that look identical to, or you know, the same color as the sand rocks. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is it for me. But uh, until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.